Hey guys, what is going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make gold with the Dragonflight level boosting. Now this is where it is located, and I'll also show you the spec that I'm using on my DH. However, you do not need to use a DH. You can use pretty much any tanky class that's got some decent self-healing. Basically, you want to have make sure that all your boosties have war mode on because that's extra XP that they're going to be getting, so it'll be even quicker. And what you want to do is what you, to get people, you want to go into trade services and just post um, that you're selling leveling boost. So what I say is selling uh, 15 to 70 level boosting uh, message for more info. And then once you have some boosties, I charge about on my server 20k per level. Now they're going to get super quick levels and you can actually have four people that you're boosting in the group with you and so for a total of five people in the group and you'll make a whole heap of gold doing this. It would have to be the best way to make gold in the game at the moment. But basically what you want to do is head over to this location and you want to pull AoE mobs and basically AoE them down. Now DH is really good for this because you've got so much self-healing, you can do really big pulls and you won't have any trouble whatsoever and you'll just keep on healing yourself and healing yourself. You wanna make sure that you've got leech enchantments and you also wanna make sure that you have all your other gear enchanted so you're as strong as possible. Now the higher item level that you have, obviously the quicker you'll kill them, which means the more gold you will make per hour. But as you can see, you have no trouble pulling big mobs just like this and you can kill them super, super easy. Now, some things to note is that you can get the thunder events here, the storm events. When that happens, you can still do this. Some of them just make it a bit annoying to kill the mobs. Like I believe the thunder one has a knockback, which can get annoying. And also when your boosties are AFKing, sometimes they can get hit from AOE. But that doesn't really matter, especially if they're like got if they've got more than 30k health, they can still pretty much AFK completely and the AOE moves won't even kill them. But why this works so, so well is that all these guys are elite. They're elite mobs and they give a big amount of XP. So your boosties will be leveling up super quick anywhere from like, if they're in between 60 to 70, anywhere from eight minutes to 15 minute levels, depending on how geared you are. So what I recommend doing is gearing up one of your tanky characters and then by doing say raids, mythic plus, try to get a decent item level anywhere from anywhere around 400 and you can do this super easy without any dramas, without ever dying. Now there are a few other things that can really help this out. There are some AOE potions that you can use every five minutes, which do a whole heap of damage. And then also there is a, um, a file a flask I think it's called that also does AOE damage just when you're attacking people and this will really increase your damage that you can actually do on these mobs because you're doing such big AOE pulls they're actually super effective I'll throw them up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about but I highly recommend these and obviously you want to have everything gemmed out um, all your buffs going and everything like that to make this as fast as possible now you can do this solo or you can do it in a duo, duo group where you'd have one tank and one class that does really high DPS. And basically what you'd do if you did it um, in a duo is you would pull bigger mobs and you would have the tank tank all the mobs and take all the damage and self heal. While the second person would be a DPS and they would basically just kill everything super quick. Now you want to make sure that they've got AOE damage if you're looking for someone to damage for your group. Something like a Windwalker Monk works extremely well here. If it uses, um, I believe there's a talent where they can actually use Karma on multiple targets. So when one gets low, um, they can use Karma and it will, not Karma, Touch of Death, sorry. And it will actually hit for a crazy amount on nearby targets and it can speed this up super quick. I've also seen people do it with a mage, have the mage constantly AOEing the mobs down while the tank tanks them all. Some of the best tanks to actually do this with would be a DH tank, a pally, 
a druid guardian druids can work really well here they can do extremely big pulls now with your boosties you can get them to pay per level but i always recommend getting them to pay you first um, before you level just in case you level them and they never end up paying you so some people prefer to pay per level or some people just pay straight up front from whatever level they want to get to now it, it doesn't have to be only level 60 to 70 you can actually bring level 15s here and you can level them all the way up to 70 here now the way to get a level 15 here is to have one of your friends or your second account and you just simply invite them to the group invite the boosty to the group and then you just want to head over to a dungeon entrance and use the dungeon summoning stone and you can summon them over here and then once they're here you want to put them on your two-seater dragonflight mount and you can fly them over to the spot and then you can simply start boosting them now if you're going to be boosting people from 15 um, all the way up to like 60 and like 70 they level super quick they get levels within like three to five minutes especially at the lower lower levels and they level super quick so what i like to do and charge for anywhere from level 15 up to 60 is 5k gold and then once that's 60 to 70 i then charge 20k gold per level now you could get a little bit more depending on your server there is a lot of level boosters on my server so a lot of people um, are more used to the price of 20k but you can charge up to about 30k per level for this from level 60 to 70. now if you want to learn more in depth about how to make gold in world of warcraft with boosting with farming with absolutely everything you can find all of that inside my gold making guide which will be the first link down below in the description box until the next one guys take care